Oh, what did I tell you though? Friday night, wasn't it? Friday night, I was out here getting laid with you lot. Ratzel was running the shed. We're going to leave the shed with Ratzel. Couldn't find Ratzel. Marge was away playing bingo, if you remember, I didn't often care. I knew he wasn't far. I could I fucking find him? So I got to 10, 11 o'clock, Marge came home for the bingo. I wrote a message to say, look, I think I've lost Ratzel. All my sheds are up in stilts, you see, so I'm thinking that wee bastard's been there digging for whatever and got himself wedged in somewhere. Up and down the garden like a fucking yo yo. So, longer story shorter than it should be. He was in here. He was through the bark and just through that wall to the right of the white door and had opened the white door on it. And it wedges on the shit in the bottom, wedges on the flakes in the bottom. So I was in here three times looking for him. I thought he was in that corner down there where you saw him Friday night down in the bottom there. When he was digging up from the outside, he's snorking a bit again. So that white door had swung open, jammed, jammed in the open <laughs> area. The rats was the wrong side of the fucking door. Half past two, the Marge. See, Marge wouldn't give up on these things. I was like, it's pitch bark, it's Baltic. I'm no. I know he's there somewhere, I'll get him in the morning, but no. Half past two, the mighty Marge come in, having found the rat, so wedged behind that fucking door. To say I was uh, mildly pleased and relieved would be an understatement. Well, that's the dedication of the mighty Marge. If the job needn't done, it's just going to get done regardless. Anyway, that was a Friday night story. So we're going with Sunday, just in a minute. So yeah, Armin probably should be dispatched, but I don't dispatch them. So I'm gonna put some shavings up there for Pyro Spiral John, and he's nesting down with his little leg. He's probably gonna go to Sneasels here shortly. Now for the rest of them, we'll have a little bit of a vlog at the minute to check the tempo, see what the tempo's like. Everything seems. Well, everything seems, seems to be working apart from my fucking lighter. There's that dickie up there again. Right, so the purpose of this little vlogette, or this section of the vlogette, is to check out and pick up the tempo that's in here just now. Everybody's very chilled. In about an hour, I'm going to clean round and we're going to put. Nest pans in everywhere because the uh, SHU 24 rings are here and we don't like to miss a beat. So I'll do a bit of scrubbing and then I'm going to issue a load of nest pans into these boxes and watch this place explode. More to follow. So there you go, must have a dozen nest pans in there. Scrub them all up, then back in the kitchen and put them in the oven just to dry them off and sterilize them. And then, yeah, they'll go into the, they'll go into the nesting areas. Very exciting times. Well, we're on the 12th of November, so we're pairing up officially on the 12th of November. Anything that's in there just now will be hoofed out. And we'll start from scratch, and we'll do the same up at the Paparon division. That fucking idiot up in there, still queuing. Anyway, the same tomorrow, of it, Papa Ron's, and then we can get the clockers to rear the sooty eggs from up the road. Beautiful. Fuckers will go bananas, man. I love this time of year. Gets me through the winter, you know. Cost them about 40 pounds a week to get through the winter, but it seems me going into a psych hospital. 
I just love the sound of squeakers. Sure. Rampage, Rambo and Ratso are going to go off and uh, take advantage of Mother's Oven. <laughs> Shh, don't tell her to go Raj. <laughs> Ooh, back shortly. He wants the cock or a hen bird down here, sorry. Christy. The old man. X3032. NHU14. 